Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use your mirrors when driving. This will be a very simple driving lesson and I'm going to be telling you and showing you how you can use these three key mirrors as you're driving. I'm talking about the rear view mirror and the two side mirrors. Now I'm not going to be going over how to position them because I've done a whole separate video on that, but I'm instead going to be telling you once they're positioned properly when to use each one and how to use each one but let's get right to it I'm gonna start driving and the first thing that I'm gonna tell you about is when you're actually pulling away from uh, being pulled over or moving off okay so when you're pulling away from 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 being sort of pulled over to the side of the road what you want to do is you want to put your turn signal on you want to check your mirrors and I like checking all three mirrors because it allows you to see everything that's going on around you so I like to check my rear view mirror my right side mirror and my left side mirror and I also check both blind spots before I pull away so that's how you move you use your mirrors before you move away from being pulled over to the side of the road so now that I've checked all my mirrors my blind spots I'm good to go I can actually pull away just like that so that's the first way to use your mirrors the second way is when you're making a turn okay so I am going to actually make a turn and and I would recommend using the mirrors in the same way when you're making a turn and changing lanes so right now I'm stopped my right turn signals on because I'm turning right so I'm gonna check my rear view mirror my right side mirror my right blind spot I'm gonna look for any traffic then I can actually make my turn now when you're actually changing lanes I would recommend that same process you want to check your rear view mirror then you want to check the side mirror of the side that you're you're switching lanes to so if you're switching lanes to the left you're gonna check your left side mirror switching lanes to the right you're gonna check your right side mirror and then you're gonna obviously check the same blind spot if you're switching lanes to the left you check your left blind spot if you're switching lanes to the right you check your right blind spot okay so the, the process for using your mirrors when you're turning and when you're switching lanes is the same at least to my standards and the way that I drive and the way that I've been taught it's same kind of process you want to check your rear view mirror then the side mirror and then the side blind spot okay now the other thing that I want to talk about is when you actually pull over to the side of the road so I'm gonna make this turn right here I'll demonstrate the mirror check one more time rear view mirror my signals on left side mirror left blind spot because I'm making a left turn no traffic no pedestrians and then turn and obviously when you're doing a lane change you're gonna check for traffic and so forth but I'm trying to stick to only talking about mirrors now when I want to pull over to the right side of the road I'm gonna put my right turn signal on my rear view mirror I'm gonna check my left my, my right side mirror and then I'm gonna pull over to the side of the road okay and that is simply because uh, you should be looking at what's going on in the mirrors and you also want to be checking your right blind spot to make sure that you're not missing anything let's say there's a cyclist beside you that's driving at the same that's riding at the same speed as your car when you pull over if you just check your mirrors and that cyclist is in your blind spot then you're gonna miss them so check your blind spot as well and make sure that you do all of the appropriate safety checks I mean if I don't outline to look at look for traffic I, I'm trying to keep it to only the mirrors for the most part so if I miss telling you about looking for traffic then you have to understand that you have to do all of your appropriate safety checks I'm just gonna be going over uh, the mirrors for the most part so I've gone over pulling away from being pulled over I've gone over pulling over I've gone over turning I've gone over lane changes now I'm gonna go over reversing so when you're reversing I'm gonna put the car in reverse I'm on a side street right over here I want you to check your rear view mirror your side mirrors both of them to see what's going on behind your car and beside your car and then obviously the other safety checks which is to check your blind spots on both sides and obviously turn your head all around and then you can reverse so before you reverse you should be checking all three of your mirrors okay very simple and then continue checking your blind spots and turn your head completely around the last thing that I want to talk about let's just go ahead and move move off right over here the last thing that I want to talk about is checking your mirrors while you're driving and I mean literally like as you're driving the idea of constantly checking your mirrors and this is something that many drivers actually forget to do as they've had their license for longer and longer they sort of break this good habit now what you should be doing is you should be constantly checking your mirrors while you're driving now some people will recommend as often as every like eight seconds five to eight seconds other people will recommend as 
uh, infrequent as every 30 seconds to one minute even. Now, in my opinion, this all depends on your driving skill level, um, you know, and also the speed that you're driving at, the amount of traffic that is on the road with you and so forth. But I would recommend see what works for you and also check your local regulations because different areas of taking the driving test might call for different areas, uh, different frequencies of actually checking your mirrors. So what I want you to do is check your local regulations. If your local regulation says to check your, uh, check your mirrors every, you know, five seconds and check them every five seconds. If your local regulation says to check them every 30 seconds, check them every 30 seconds, but check out what's going on with where you live and where you're driving and where you'll be, where you'll be taking your driving test potentially. And then you want to use those as a guideline, but that's basically it. In this video, I've gone over how to use your mirrors while driving. It's been a simple driving lesson. I've told you how to use your mirrors when you're pulling away from being pulled over, when you're turning, when you're changing lanes, when you're pulling over to the side of the road, when you're reversing, and just in general while you're driving. I tried to cover all of the scenarios, and once again, I tried to keep it, uh, for the most part, to speaking about the mirrors. I did mention blind spot checks and checking for traffic and so forth, but you have to use your own knowledge and, and your own guidelines for that, because this video was not about telling you to, how to, you know, the complete process for changing lanes. It was only telling you, for the most part, about using your mirrors properly for when you change lanes for when you turn for when you pull over and so forth so you know before you actually do any of these things make sure that you know all of the other safety checks that are involved whether you're checking for pedestrians whether you're checking for traffic looking for a gap in traffic whatever the case is make sure that you're doing all of the appropriate safety checks along with the mirror process that I outlined in this video if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment. What are some other tips for using your mirrors as a driver while driving? Let me know as a comment down below. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.